everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. Guess what? Doing another top 10. Top 10. Yeah. But before that, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me if you like the channel. I really appreciate that. Hit that little bell to notify new content. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. You know it's in the description. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. So yeah, doing a top 10, but also I have shirts for sale. Yay. Go down and check them out for me. I really appreciate that. I'll really like them. They're really nice looking and I can't wait to show them off. All right. So top 10, basically where I take, you know, I do a, you know, top 10 of my favorite, you know, the, you know, favorite character, favorite line or something like that. And since I'm doing a kind of a masterpiece kind of thing this week because of a uh, masterpiece 44 or MP 44 Optimus Prime, I thought I said, oh, well, well, I'll do a top 10 of my favorite Takara slash Hasbro masterpieces. So yeah, looking forward to it. Yay. Top 10. So let's get busy. I got two uh, honorable mentions and I'm going to do my top 10. So away we go. All right, one of my honorable mentions is going to be Masterpiece Welljack. I just like this fella. It's a nice little, nice little transformer. It's awesome. I think it's really cool. I like the car mode. I think it looks really nice and everything. I do need to get the MP Plus one of this one. This is the only one I really want to get of the pluses because it looks more cartoon accurate and everything. So I haven't gotten to them. I think it's like 50 bucks on Amazon. So I need to jump on that real quick, but I haven't. So, But this is a really cool uh, Masterpiece figure. I like the transformation. It's pretty cool. And I like the alt mode, so very nice. This is one of my honorable mentions. This is Masterpiece Will Jack. And my other honorable mention is going to be Masterpiece Grimlock. He almost went, made the top 10 because he's really good. I love this Masterpiece, man. It's a cool one. And man, I was so excited. I thought we were going to get all of the Dinobots. And they're like, nope, only going to do Grimlock. I was like, oh, that's sad. But yeah, I love, I love Grimlock. I think he's really cool. Um, I have the Famous Toys ones, but I think I, I use my Dinobots as... Uh, um, dino mode, you know, an alt mode and everything. So I think he makes, you know, mixes in really well. Uh, he's he really short, you know, shorter than the other ones in bot modes. And I, you know, usually uh, I would get the uh, Grimlock uh, from the Fans Toys one, but I skipped on it because, you know, I like him in dino mode and I think he mixes just fine. You know, I think he's just the right height for him. And everything. But he is kind of short in alt mode. So that I think they may boot for him, but yeah, you know, that's fine. But I love MP Grimlock. You know, he looks just awesome. You know, really nice. Got the movable head, the shiny teeth. So very nice. So yeah, he almost made my top 10, but honorable mention is Masterpiece Grimlock. All right, jumping off at number 10 is going to be Masterpiece Shockwave. Yeah. Very nice. Not a lot of people don't like this. They like the, a lot of people got the Quake Wave, which I have, I have one of the Quake Waves. I have the clear one. I, I, I didn't jump on the original one, but I love this one. I think it looks straight off the TV screen. This is this is tune accurate. I mean, I love it. You know, a lot of people don't like him, but I do. I think it looks really good. I think, he, you know, he just jumped off the screen. Very nice lavender waves, what they call him and everything. And they have the darker uh, toy color one. I didn't get that one because I just, I'm content with this one. I really like it, man. I love the you know, pulsability of it and everything. I love that little yellow eye with the light piping. So very nice. So yeah, he is going to be my number 10. This is going to be Masterpiece Shockwave. Coming in at number nine, it's going to be Masterpiece Inferno. And man, this is a good one also. Beautiful paint job. I love the transformation. That letter that goes into his chest and disappears. That is awesome. One of the better, you know, transformations out there for uh, MP. It's beautiful. Beautiful, you know, little cartoon accurate and everything. Very nice. You can switch out the chest plate, you know, and everything. That's really cool. Very nice option. It's got the little water effect and kind of dirty looking, but very nice. So I love the paint on this, man. It's so nice. And like I said, that, that ladder thing, that's awesome. That's an MP moment right there if it's not one. All right, so my number nine is going to be Masterpiece Inferno. Coming in at number eight is going to be Masterpiece Optimus Primal from the Beast Wars. Man, they got some really nice ones from the Beast Wars. I'm looking forward to a bunch of them. I hope they finish them off like Black Rackman is coming. And uh, they got some really nice ones. But this is going to be number eight. Masterpiece Optimus Primal. Looks good in both modes, man. The eight mode looks really good. It's got some nice accessories. Very nice paint, too. Like it's got, you know, the fur kind of thing looking. Very awesome. An easy transformation. And it's fun, too. I very like it. And it just looks, 
you know, Optimus Prime one, man. It looks really good. I love some of the head sculpts it's got on it. Very nice posability. Fun to take pictures with. So yeah, this is going to be my number eight. This is Masterpiece Optimus Primal from the Beast Wars. Coming in at number seven is going to be Masterpiece Sunstreaker. Ooh, wait. This is a beautiful one, too. Lovely paint job. Articulation, man, out the woo-ha. Man, it's all, this is when they started doing the, you know, the nice, you know, better articulation and everything. And Sunstreaker, man, you do it for me. Beautiful. So good. Look at that shiny chrome. Ooh-wee. Very nice paint. Fun transformation. I love the alt mode. Really nice. You know, and just, like I said, the posability, man. This thing can really take some good pictures. And, oh, man, just very nice. Just so lickable. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, number seven is going to be Masterpiece Sunstreaker. Coming in at number six is going to be Masterpiece Beast Force Dinobot. And once again, another fun, beautiful transformer. The alt mode is very nice. The Raptor is awesome. You know, at first, the beginning transformation wasn't that fun, but it gets easier as you go and everything. But this is a beautiful sculpt. One of the better masterpieces out there. Well built. Articulation is very good. Beautiful paint job. I mean, just top notch. And one of the better characters, you know, in Beast Wars. You know, and a lot of people, a lot of fans love some, some Dinobot. So he had to be in my top 10, man. He's a very nice, very nice masterpiece. All right, number six is going to be Masterpiece Beast Wars Dinobot. Coming at number five is going to be Masterpiece G1 Megatron. And man, once again, the articulation on this thing comes straight, you know, it's just, it's a beautiful piece. A lot of people don't like him. He does have some, you know, back kibble and back, you know, mumbo jumbo going back there. But man, this is my Megatron. I know there's other options out there, you know, third party and everything, and that's fine if you like that. But this is my Megatron. I remember at TFCon a couple years ago, uh, they were, uh, during the third party panel, they announced, you know, that MP Megatron's coming. Ooh, everybody was just like, ooh. Man, that just took over that uh TFCon that year, man, because everybody's so excited. Once I saw him, I knew that this is going to be my Megatron. You know, beautiful. He's really nicely articulated. Paint job is really good. Transformation is eh, it's not that much fun, uh, but overall, he just looks so good, and he just goes well with the new Masterpiece uh, Optimus Prime. I love it. Accessories are really nice. Beautiful piece, beautiful piece. All right, my number five is going to be Masterpiece G1 Megatron. Coming at number four, yes. I know I had to. That was, that was terrible. I can't do a good one, but another beautiful piece. This is Masterpiece Beast Wars Megatron. Oh man, when we, when this thing started coming out and people saw pictures, uh, everybody's like, "Oh my goodness, this is a masterpiece." Very nice. You know, the back is a little kibbly, but man, so much fun beautiful beautiful paint job i mean this is one of the better paint jobs out there for a transformer and it's just you know so much fun nice uh, lovely art you know great articulation you know wonderful accessories that go with it you know needed a rubber ducky but that wasn't part of this one anyways but you know the toothbrush and everything but yeah this is just a beautiful piece transformation is not too bad you know at the beginning it was kind of eh, you know but now it gets a little easier as you go on but once again Beautiful. I love, man, the scales pop on this thing. The paint job is just oh, mwah, very nice. So good. All right, my number four is going to be Masterpiece Beast Wars Megatron. Number three is going to be MP44 Masterpiece Optimus Prime. He just came out this week. Mwah. I, just, I love this thing. Beautiful. Just look like it came off the screen. You know, there are some issues with it. A lot of people, you know, the backpack, which is not bad at all to me, you know, looking at it, it's not that bad. You know, there's some issues, you know, and some of the people are breaking their knees and everything. Mine's fine. I love it. This thing is great. The playability is so much fun. The trailer, the paint on this thing, man, the articulation is out of this world. It's just ridiculous, man. You can get this thing in so many good poses. I love taking pictures of this thing. But yeah, well worth it. You know, it is expensive. You know, I understand that, you know, 330 is what I pay for it, but some people pay 450 but to me, it is so worth it, man. I love it. Very nice. The accessories, so many accessories that really, uh, you know, go well with this thing. Just in the paint job, man. I just, mm, mm, mm. Very nice. This this is a good MP. All right, number three is going to be Masterpiece Optimus Prime version three. All right. 
Coming in number two is going to be Masterpiece Soundwave. Very nice. Once again, this is one of the better masterpieces that have come out in a long time. I mean, a fun transformation, you know, really good paint job, you know, you know, good some pulsability. You know, the issues, some of the issues was the legs around the hips and everything. Um, I've been, you know, been rumors that they're going to make a, you know, kind of a cartoon accurate one, I hope. I don't know. I know they're reissuing this guy again. So if you missed out, you know, very nice. It comes with, the, you know, some of the tapes and everything. That's a cool accessory and everything. So, but one of the good ones, one of the better made ones and one of the just better sculpt ones that are out there is the MP Soundwave. I know Fans Toys got one coming out and everybody's excited for that. I'll probably pick that one up too, but man, Masterpiece Soundwave is just fun. Like I said, I hope they do another one and do it like a cartoon accurate one. I may get that one. So beautiful. Once again, beautiful, beautiful. All right, number two is going to be Masterpiece Soundwave. All right, coming in at number one. I know it's not the best built and not the best one that's out there, you know, but it's my favorite, and that's all that matters. That's all why I pick it, and he's my favorite character. And, man, when I saw this coordination set, you know, with the crown and the cape and everything, I just love it. I, even, I like the Make Toys one better than this one, but I'm doing, you know, Takara, MP, you know, and all that stuff. So, number one is going to be uh, the coordination set for uh, uh, Star Trek and everything. So, very nice. Like I said, this mold is pretty well used you know they use it a lot uh, I, you know there's rumors that they're going to do a version three or something i would love for them to do that you know make my put my make toys you know in the corner or something like that i would love for them to do another star screen mold so and you know I, i'm sure they will you know you can get so many seekers you can get so many recolors but yeah i love this mold i mean i love this figure itself you know it's star cream i love the coordination set and everything so it's pretty cool i'm surprised they haven't done a dead one like a gray kind of one with him and like you know, that would have been pretty cool but yeah my number one is going to be the mp starscreen coordination set all right well i hope you like my two honorable mentions in my top 10 of the uh takar slash hasbro masterpiece yeah had a really good time finding it it was why it was pretty hard you know there were some that i wanted to put in there you know side swipe and some other ones like that but i just want to do a top 10 and you know showcase some of my uh, masterpiece figures that i have from takara and I had a great time. I hope you liked it. Tell me what your top five is or top ten is in uh, masterpiece that you have. Uh, I did the ones that I haven't, and one the one you know do. I didn't include you know ones I don't have and everything. But yeah, those are just my top ten. I've done these uh, a lot of times, you know, a couple months ago, and I just hadn't had you know really a top ten to do. So I thought it'd be a fun thing to do. Hope you like it. Go hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me. Uh, go check out my shirts also. I really appreciate that. So I guess I'll see you on the next top 10. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro and good night, folks.